ti ba kule ni gbo gbaye pata pata iwo sa lu pa mi si wala inside mobat and samlari who that mobat the king resemble pass i beg make now help me use inu oju nu gossip trending viral content celebrity lifestyle welcome to miracle james hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is the first time here make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any update on my channel so without too much of a time let's get right into the gist of today so guys a lot of you have been telling me to make this video about the dna test for mobad son if truly the wife cheated or not honestly this matter has trended for the past couple of days and i really didn't want to like do the video because I feel like it's something insensitive um especially a grieving wife telling her that you cheated and all of that but i've been putting one or two together and i see where um, people are coming from i actually understand why people like very dark man is calling for that dna test so if you paid attention to the video i played in the beginning of this video like that voice you heard that was actually moba's voice and in that conversation Mubad and his wife were actually having an argument over a WhatsApp account. I know you will not see anything. Now. You know how to go and call my mom and to make her sad. Abby. Don't worry. You think I will forget everything? Where's my other? Where's my phone? You can't talk. Where's my other phone? Where's my phone now? Talk now. It's not, it's not your, your phone. My stores are dead. Where is my other phone? Yes, I let, let me open the phone. Let's let prepare the phone. Where is my other phone? Where is my old WhatsApp? We share the same my cloud with me and you, Abby. Go on the WhatsApp mission, law. As you guys can see, this was Mobad asking her for that account and the phone but she blatantly refused like she was hiding something i don't really know why she was making mobad flare up like that because in the first voice note you heard at the beginning of the video mobad said if i should die the whole world should know that it's you that killed me that was what he was telling his wife at the beginning of this video if you want to listen to the full conversation i'll leave a video card above i already posted the full conversation on my channel some days back so in case you want to listen to the full conversation of what mobile and his wife said you can go check that out then for the second thing this chat actually um, was posted by Instablog uh, about Mobad and his wife. So in this chat, if you look below, there's a place that reads, You should leave me alone when you stopped feeling me. Then it continued with, Why did you F my? So the particular name was covered. It wasn't mentioned who it was referring to, but many are saying it was Samilari. Yes, that is what people are saying on the street. Is that crazy? Mobad then continued and said, Now you are pretending you will pay for this only if if there is no god you put me to shame you're acting smart you said you never loved me but why did you stay in my life for eight years don't worry and the third reason people are calling for this dna test is the fact that all mobile's property is in his wife's name so netizens are saying she might have had an involvement because she wanted to claim those properties for herself but, but why would she do that though if her name is already in the properties but some people say oh maybe she did charm or whatever for mobile to put her name on his property documents and all of that and the reason why mobile's wife have not really been vocal in this whole situation is that i heard according to tradition a yoruba wife after losing her husband, is supposed to stay indoors for like a month. She's not even supposed to grant media interviews and whatsoever. So that is what I heard. That is why uh, Mobad's wife have not come out to like talk on all this that is currently. But happening. people started looking into this whole DNA matter when Very Dark Man called out that the DNA test should be done for Mobad's son. That Mobad's son doesn't even look like Mobad and other nigerians also had the same opinion with very dark man he was pointing out to that chat i read for you guys that why would mobad say that oh you don't know you've been effing my you know so that's why he was really calling on that dna test and he even added what peter obi had to say to this whole dna test issue because peter obi said no stone should be left unturned which kind of means that 
nobody should be left alone everybody is a suspect let me read what peter will be reacted to this mobad's whole case i urge the government and the security agencies to probe the circumstances that led to his untimely demise and to leave no stone unturned in unraveling the circumstances surrounding his death with his demise the nation has lost a promising talent in our great music and entertainment industry i pray god to grant him internal rest and grant his parents family and teaming fans the fortitude to bear his irreplaceable loss po then he said on behalf of my family i condo with the mother and entire family of ire oluwa oladimeji aloba mobad over his painful demise i know how difficult it is for parents to lose a child especially one with such a promising future as his should the dna test be done yes everything should be done i feel like nobody should be left out in this mobad case because you know everybody is a suspect because this guy was also always having issues with his family as well in as much as he was having issues with Neramali and the Malian's music record, he also had family problems and it was evident when the family were already planning on even sharing his property when they had not even buried the guy. They were already um, splitting properties here and there, um, demanding for the wife to submit properties and all of that. So everything was just properties, properties, properties. So I'm not against the fact that a DNA test should indeed be done. So let me read what people had to say concerning the whole um, seminary is um, the father of the boy and the DNA test saga. So this person said, let's face reality. Mobad was surrounded by enemies, be it family and friends. So getting a DNA test after seeing his Snapchat chat and the video isn't a wrong idea. In this case, justice must prevail. No party should be left out. Another individual said, I agree with the very dark man. Nobody can be trusted. If Mobad's wife is sure she isn't hiding anything, then doing a DNA test shouldn't be a big deal. It won't be nice if we find out the child isn't for Mobad after showing her all the support. This other person said, I beg, make Una check Mobad's son very well. Look him face. The boy no resemble Mobad at all. I beg, check well. He resembles Samilari. Make one a check now. So I'll be taking this last comment which says when they said Mobad father should be investigated, you supported it. When they said his body should be exhumed for an autopsy, you supported it. When they said all his close friends should be investigated, you supported it. But now they said his wife should be investigated and also do a DNA test on the child. You are not drawing the line. What many of you don't know is in a crime scene, everyone around the victim is a suspect, even though we already have two prime suspects. In the coming days, many of you will be shocked to the kind of revelation that will start coming up on this mobile case. Even those you think are innocent might later turn out to be accomplished. I have seen and been in this world for a while to know that sometimes if an insider didn't betray you, there's no way the outsiders will have a way to penetrate or victimize you. My point is, we already have two suspects in the person of Neramali and Samilari, but I'm telling you for free that Mobad's death is very organized and coordinated mission. When this whole investigation is done, you realize there are more than two prime suspects. There's many things when they happen now, according to what that Papa talked, because they open our eyes as I'm all going to we day for street. Go look, Mobad na black boy, black boy like me, we black where we Mobad white na black girl, we black where we And they are picking na yellow picking. How that take happen? Mobad papa na black man. Okay, Moki can leave that one. Say maybe that in ancestors, the picking resemble. Inside Mobad and Sam Larry, would that Mobad picking resemble pass inside two of them? Yes. So Peter Obi don't say let's leave no stone on turn urging the Nigerian police. But as you all know, now all of us they do this investigation online because we won't prove. You understand? Yesterday when I say make uh, Mobad, may they do DNA tests on Mobad picking. A lot of women they insult me, they even call my DM, they call me misogyny, they call me a lot of names. But to be honest, I really don't care here yeah, because in this kind of case, you have to look everywhere. You understand? Now, this is the reason why I said they should do a DNA test. You understand? I'm not saying it's what happened. But what if Mobad actually find out, say, the picking no being own? Because since already they accused the girl, say the girl they cheat. You get one chat when right, you F with. Do you understand? So in done they already they think calm. So what if he finally don't discover? Do you understand? And then the girl they try to cover up the truth. Why she go won't cover the truth? What does she have to what does she have to gain? She have a lot to gain. Do you understand? First of all, the properties that are bought in her name. First of all, the the, the, the title of a celebrity wife 
Do you understand? A lot of things they where the girl go lose. Do you understand? Which is a reason why they go fit by the boy. You are talking about materials and we are talking about human being. Human being are wicked. Do you understand? It does not take the girl out of the equation. I don't know all of now they sentimental, they cry, meh, meh, meh. this boy is insensitive. It's not about insensitivity, bro. It is about finding out what really happened. I people are asking reason why they should do DNA test on that boy. See the kind of money that have been donated to that boy because of fame, because of love, where they love Mubad. See everything where they are given to that boy. Okay, what if last last the boy is not Mubad son? What will you people say? That lady, I don't know. Me, I'm not saying saying are you but that lady should be strictly investigated. Yes, I said so. And for you, Mobad Papa, and all these people, all the friends around him that are hiding things, that are hiding things, for the fact that this guy is bleeding to this time, that should tell you that you are not safe. That should tell you that you are not safe. Listen to what I have to say concerning Mobad son DNA test. You people want a DNA test to be con conducted, right? But let me shock you. If Mopad can be manipulated and buried alive, what makes you think that the killers will not do everything possible to make sure that his name is gone forever on this earth and no child will bear his name? Don't forget we are in Nigeria. If you have any problem concerning the voice note you had about Mopad and the wife, why not investigate the wife? Why not investigate the wife and let the son be? At least let there be someone to bear his name. What if you people carry out a DNA test and find out that the son is not his? What will happen? They will take the child away and they will say that Mopa did not have a child and his name will be gone on this planet Earth. Have you guys thought of that? I don't understand what is happening. Somebody's um, this very dark man has come out and say DNA test. Everybody's on his neck. And um, why would they say the woman should do DNA test? She's a widow. This one, that one, that. You are not going to come out. She, the man, is your husband. Don't you want justice for the man? If I was uh, my bad uh, wife, if, let me be my wife. She not DNA. I don't have anything to do. It's my child. I will come out. Come out. I will want to start the questioning myself. Then let me see who will not say I was his friend. Um, how can you attempt me to come out for questioning? Everybody knew me with him. If you're his friend, come out and start now. Start it. Start it. Let's know that okay, the whole process has started. Come out and say something. You that is his wife. I don't love the man. They just carry him. Go bury him. He, won't, he doesn't even put it there. He... Now, question you don't start. Mama, start, let me start from you. Volunteer and come Let's start from you. She, you come out. You know things about him. You were with him. You know people that came to the house to assault him. You know people, the last person he met with. You know people that, that are around him. Come out first and start saying something. I mean, like, the bad guys who won't catch you will come out, come the call names. Maybe in close friends and the wife will come out first. Come start the questioning thing. If you don't have anything to hide, why, 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 this, why is the questioning thing just lingering? May it start now. If you, as a wife, you come out and start talking now. Process has started. Then let's see who wants to start. Who wants, who wants to stay back? Not to come around every day. This one is crying that I miss him. Uh, uh, Mama, this one, I'm, I'm, I'm crying. I'm, I'm, every, no, no, nothing is happening. Everybody is just typing. You're his wife. If you want just, you, I, I believe you want justice for your husband. Mama, come out. May it start from you. Now DNA be the problem. You come out to do your DNA. Come out to do your questioning. Process on starts. Call names so you sabi. Say the things you know. Say what you know now. Are the same friends online? He had lots of food that claim that they are crying, spinning them. Why are you guys not in the station saying what you know? I mean, the person what they what they what they point finger. Now one confess, come start. I'm a, if we really want to help this guy, let's do it. Let's help him. All these ones that everybody's doing online, all these things. At this point, there should be no sentiments. Nobody should get angry. As, they, as the wife, they don't even get angry that they are pointing fingers at you because everybody's a suspect. You should even follow that. Yes, everybody's a suspect. Let me come out and start and clear myself. Come out to clear yourself. Nothing day. I don't see why people are getting angry because they say the wife should, uh, the poor widow. She yes, she's going through a lot. And anybody that loses her husband will go through a lot. But Omo. You could go sit down, fold hand, just sit down there for house. For you know the case, everything now good, everything is lingering. Autopsy, uh, where they won't even do self. That one, I don't, I don't know what's happening. I don't, know, I don't know the process they are waiting for to do autopsy. You just sit down. You know they pay you so your husband don't go. Come out and say something now. You're pained. Come out and talk. 
so guys that's everything that has to do with the mobile's wife dna saga so what do you think kindly do let me know your opinions in the comment section i'll do what to check it out so moving on to the next news for today so guys i'm going to be talking about what happened at the lucky toll gate yesterday so i actually posted it on my community and many of you were like oh what happened what did the police do again because many people said they were injured and um people were tear gassed and all of that by the police uh, because they overstayed the time they were supposed to stay at the lucky um toll gates because they had an event yesterday for mobad like a candlelight slash tribute service for mobad where a lot of celebrities came we had the likes of faust davido the cute abiola zlatan and so many other celebrities were present there so the closing time for that program was actually 8 p.m so after many of the celebrities left um some fans decided to stay behind and actually got themselves into trouble with the police because you know people have to go home lagos is a busy place so you, you cannot just like block the road for people that are wanting to like go to their house after a long stressful day of work so due to that the police had to like use the tear gas and all of that to like disband the mammoth crowd because they were actually much and so people were turning it into a protest it was supposed to be a candlelight service and not a protest so that was actually what happened and i heard even as at 11 pm they were still there partying and turning it into something else that was why they were tear gas and according to reports that someone was shot and all of that no one was actually shot according to what some of the celebrities that were still there said it was revealed the crowd was too much so it was hard for a lot of persons to leave exactly 8 pm because of the traffic do i support the police for using the force well i don't really support the force and all of that due to what we saw with answers and you know people actually got injured yesterday honestly due to the running the stampedes and all of that so is actually not nice but at the same time at least they should learn to respect the government and there's absolutely no need for the process since the police are already done with the autopsy and we're just waiting for the results so they're actually actively working on this case people should just calm down i also saw a news on twitter about Niramali and Samilari being wanted or more if this is very true that means the police are actually doing a pretty good job it is very very commendable because it's been 10 days already and Neramali and Samilari are nowhere to be found at the police station. They are still outside the country. So I believe the police are already making moves towards extraditing them back to Nigeria because it doesn't seem like they are ready to cooperate. And even while all these candlelights and everything has been taking place, Neramali, Samilari and the whole of the Malian school haven't even like shown concern or maybe shown their presence online to show that oh i attended one of these uh, candlelight service because you know it's taking place around the world i understand Neramali and Samilari are scared for their safety but a clean heart knows no fear like you should be able to come out come and talk to the police what happened tell us what you actually did so that you can clear your name <laughs> and guys there's actually a new video clip of the other two persons that were in the car with mobad the day he was pronounced dead like when that guy was shouting oh mobad is dead so that guy was actually with two other persons that has been revealed this is their face so i expect the police to work with this and get these persons to the station to tell us what they know i'll be leaving you guys with some highlights from the lucky candlelight for mobad as promised enjoy i'll see you guys in another video peace <laughs> For this one, when I say justice, you say you want it. Justice! Justice! My name is Father Baghdad, thank you so much. Justice! Justice! Come on, justice! Justice! Now raise your hand. 
hands. Now raise your hands. Now raise your hands. Now raise your hands. Ah, uh, come on. It's about me, it's about me. But you lay me on my room. On my lawn, you will be so me. So you can say, Kay Mula. That's the Betty Mamula. Then I'm bringing Naya. You could not buy a t shirt. Oh, yeah, power. You don't fall no key. Police everything, they reform activity, they do investigation. They are still saying we go ginger, ginger, we go calm down. For this one, we must get justice. Let me hear you say justice for Mobad. Let me hear you say justice for Mobad. No, I'm gonna calm down. Possible must pay. Yeah. When I say justice, you say Imale. Justice! Imale. Justice! Imale. My name is Fazi Thank you so much. a lot of people in my life you know you know i understand a lot about life but there's one thing i want to say to everybody apart from justice being done you know you know you're here apart from justice being done you know definitely i call on all entertainers i call on all influencers i call on all business people in Nigeria to come together and make sure that his child and his wife and his parents are taken care of. And as I'm here today, Una know her. And as I'm here today, I want everybody put your phone lights up. Everybody put your phone lights up. Phone lights, phone lights, everybody. Everybody put your phone lights up. Put your phone lights up. Everybody in the world is calling my phone, not only in Nigeria, but in America, in London, in Dubai, in India, the whole world is listening to your music, you know, I flew all the way down here for this, and we're going to keep your name alive for sure, and we're going to take care of your people, good night everybody, everybody get home safe, and don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, it's a peaceful protest. So as you're going back home, we go back home peacefully. No fighting. Thank you very much. Obi, bye He says, blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. I am here wrestling with the walls in comforting the death of our beloved Mubad, as he is a promising symbol of hope to many young believing Nigeria, springing out from different parts of the ghetto, different backgrounds, and most of all, every part of the world that love his music and are willing to chase their dream to the fullest. What failed me, still at the critical moment, knowing the pain he must have encountered silently during his lifetime here on earth while he was still alive. No child born of woman should have to go through that suffering or circumstances leading to his death. The morning, as he is called, is my colleague in the music industry and I am indeed glad to have created many memories with him through music and sharing the stage performances together. During his last days, he graced my event with his musical prose, and we also got to work on a song for his album, 
and I stand before you to say I am indeed proud of every beautiful moment shared with Mubad. This is just the world and most of all 2022 where there is internet and more awareness platform to several personal issues. So I want to use this video to implore to everyone going through any difficult moment to speak up and reach out for help. However, Mubad case, there should be a restoring justice and allow the family in their care to get justice on behalf of the circumstances leading to his death. With prayers and deep sympathy, I pray to God Almighty that he gives the family in their behind strength and find comfort in the memory shared between him and his family, especially his son. Thank you very much. God bless you all.